County School Board today began interviewing the three finalists for the superintendent's position. News for Jax's Elizabeth Campbell joins us live from the school board building on the South Bank. So Dr. Michael Dinsmore of Wayne County, North Carolina, was uh, number one for questioning today. What kind of questions is he being asked? Oh, a wide variety of questions from disciplining students to how he plans to help improve underperforming schools. Board members took about two hours taking turns asking more than a dozen questions. Take a look at some other topics that were brought up and discussed. How he'll ensure quality educations for ESE students. How to help Jacksonville continue to heal from segregation and desegregation issues. His opinion on the role of social media and the press. And how to ensure a healthy relationship with the school board. Board members seemed pleased with his answers, and he also showed his personality, making board members laugh several times. I asked him if the board selects him, what he thinks his first big challenge would be, and he says getting all of the city's stakeholders around the table and on the same page. Whether it's the inner city, whether it's here, business groups, faith groups, um, Everybody's got a different opinion or a different idea of what they want. And, and rather than discussing that in social media, I think my job is to get those groups back around the table, listen to what they want, and let's come up with a plan that we're all on the same sheet of music working together. All board members were present except for Mr. Scott Shine. You may remember he several weeks ago withdrew his bid for re-election. I have reached out to him to find out whether or not he will be there tomorrow or Friday. Tomorrow, Dr. Diana Green will be interviewed and then Friday, they will finish with Dr. Eric Pruitt and the board is expected to make their final decision by 4 p.m. this Friday. Reporting live from the South Bank, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, The Local Station.